Welcome to Take It or Leave It. I'm your host, Heaven Hollywood. Brought to you today by Born to Shine Media. Sponsored by, in case you didn't know, dot blog. It's I-T-Y-D-K dot blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. So we have to get into it today. A subject that's now been going on for a couple of months. Well, not the recent one, Kyrie Irving. But Kyrie Irving, to me, is just a continuation from Kanye West. Because I don't believe that if this Kanye West situation wasn't going on, I don't believe Kyrie Irving would have ever even uh, posted that movie. Kyrie Irving follows Kanye West. Kyrie Irving was supporting Kanye West and the things that he was saying. And that made him start looking. That's the reason why he even went and searched for the movie. All right. So to me, it's a continuation. And on Take It or Leave It, I give my take on the situation and basically what the title says. You can take it, you can leave it. But I'm going to give it to you flat out, real. I'm coming from a real perspective from a person living in today's world in 2022. From a person who has responsibility, has a family to take care of. Several. All right. So we're going to take it from the realistic standpoint. We're not going to put, this is not feelings. I'm not coming at you from the feeling standpoint. I'm coming at you from the factual standpoint. Just like I do with any other podcast or video or live. Take the feelings out of it. And you got to think factual. This is not fiction. This is real life. All right? So in real life, you have to expect realistically what someone's going to do, how someone's going to act, and what someone's going to say. Now, we could start off. The take it or leave it a top topic title is Kyrie Urban and Kanye West, should black people support them? Right. And of course, if you hear the title, the first thing a black person is going to say, of course, we should support them. Right. If you read that title to the average black person, they may not even know what's going on. But they just see Kyrie Urban's name and and Kanye West's name popping up a lot recently, and they know that they're black. And the average black person, before they even know the situation, will say, of course you support them. They're black. Like what they did with O.J. Simpson. Black people didn't care whether O.J. was guilty or not. They looked into it or they didn't care. They didn't care whether he was guilty or not. It was just, just to get one up on the white people just to repay them for Rodney King and for all of the other and for Bensonhurst and for all of the other incidents. Emmett Till. We didn't care whether OJ was guilty or not. Yes, back OJ. He's black. Even though he told us he's not black, he's OJ. Right? So Kanye West. Even though he told black people slavery was a choice. Because he's white, I mean, because he's black and he's going against white people, we say, yes, back Kanye West. He's black. We totally forgot when he said slavery was a choice. We tried to justify it. We totally forgot when he said Harriet Tubman was a fraud. 
she didn't really free the slaves. She just sent them to work for more white people. Like Harriet Tugman had a choice. So she shouldn't have freed the slaves? <clears throat> time and time again, we've heard disrespectful rants, rhetorics, statements from Kanye West about black people. But the only time he disrespects white people is when it affects his pockets. But him coming out and saying slavery was a choice, that why did he, what did he have to say that? Was he going against someone black? How did that affect his pockets by whether he said that or not said that? No. He said that because he has shown constant disrespect ever since he got involved with the conservative party, the far right, or whatever, the Trumpers, whatever you want to call it. Ever since he got involved with that party and that cabinet, there's a long time away from George Bush don't care about black people. Once Kanye got into the fashion world, the world he wanted to be in, he wanted the validation from white people, not black people. He already had the validation from the hood. He already had validation from black people. Once he said George Bush don't care about white people, we said, oh, Kanye's for us. Kanye is for us. But I believe he turned on us once Obama called him a jackass. I think from that day, he didn't like Obama. The day Obama called him a jackass. So, let's go into this situation. Kanye West, anti-Semitic remarks. Now, Again, we all know we are living in the time that has been this way for like the last five years. We are living in the times of you can't say anything, you can't do anything offensive, you can't say anything offensive. No longer can you call homosexuals the F word, even if you're joking around. No longer can you call a person the F word, even if they're not gay. You can't call someone, uh, even if they're not um, medically described as mentally retarded, you can't call someone, oh, you retarded. You can't do that anymore. So we've been living these times for it's a few years, right? So I'm looking at this article that says unpacking Kanye West anti-Semitic remarks. All right. Let me share my screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm reading. So you can't say I'm making it up. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So where it started. I think it first um, started back during a live stream on October 10th. Leaders of Israelite School of Universal Practice, Practical Knowledge, an extremist BHI sect defended Ye and tied his comments of the groups, um, tied his comments Of the okay, of the groups teaching about black people being the true Jews, members of the Kansas City chapter of Israel United in in Christ. <clears throat> Another extremist BHI sec also reacted to Ye's comments during the live stream, rejecting the widespread accusation that his statements were anti-Semitic. These Ashkenazi Jews or Ashkenazi Edomites, they're not Jews, they're not the Jews, you understand. So then to say 
Ye is anti-Semitic. He's Semitic. All right. <clears throat> so of course he got the public support and, and uh, of after Ye's most recent remarks, prominent conspiracy theorists, extremist groups, and anti-Semitic influencers were quick to leverage his words to both express support and promote their own belief. All right. Then he came to post remarks. Ye made statements about the Jewish power in the past. Now remember, he's done this in two, to back in 2013. This is not the first time he's done this. In 2013, alleging that Jewish people are more well-connected than black people and therefore have an unfair advantage. In 2013, he said this. Why didn't anybody make a big deal about it? These were denounced by the ADL and later defended by Farrakhan who stated that Ye told the truth and said nothing wrong. During a concert shortly after the 2013 controversy, Ye reportedly stated, I talked to Farrakhan the other night. He told me not to apologize. I ain't fitting to apologize. All right? So then, claims about Jewish money and greed. Yes, Ye claimed that Jared Kushner's actions between Israel and Arab nations were driven by his desire for financial gain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so when you start to get into this stuff, Jewish control of the media and recording industry, okay, we get that. The belief that black people rather than Jewish people today are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites is common among followers of the black Hebrew Israelite, the BHI movement. We get all that, okay? Here's the issue. No one is telling Kanye West not to believe what he wants. No one is telling Kanye West that he cannot believe that blacks were the first black men, were their first Jews. I believe that too. No one's telling me I can't believe that. Right? No one is telling me and no one ever told Kanye West he can't believe that. What they said was, what they're pretty much saying is, you cannot make disparaging remarks, remarks about any other culture, race, beliefs, just to prop up your own. If you want to say you believe that, that's fine. You say you believe that. But where you run into problems is, Kanye West was in business with people who are Jewish. People who are Jewish help get you to that billionaire status because you see without, the, without them, without these companies, he's not a billionaire. So that means he needed these companies to help him reach that billionaire status. It's not like he was a billionaire on his own and then, then they pulled out, and when he, they pulled out, he's still a billionaire. No. So now that Kanye West comes back in 2022 and pretty much re amps something that he said from 2013, nine years ago, and nobody made a comment about it, I wonder why. Oh, Obama, was, was Obama in office then? 2013, I think Obama was still in office, right? So black people didn't care then. They didn't care what he said in 2013. He was still with Kim K as well. So what was people saying? Eh, who cares what he's saying? He's with a white woman. Kanye is doing a lot of talking. He do all this talking, but He's with a white chick, a porn star. We don't care nothing about what Kanye's saying. Go back to the comments back then. Now, 2022, since he's no longer with Kim Kardashian, right? Obama's no longer in office. 
Now, as long as he is saying something negative about the Kardashians, who are a lot of black women's trigger, you're going to back Kanye West. Backing him behind statements that really have nothing to do with you. So when people say we should support Kanye West, support him how? What has Kanye West done for me? I support people who help me. I support people who do something for me. His words don't inspire me. Has Kanye West ever sat down with, with, with a bunch of black people and explain to him, explain to them game, explain to them how, uh, steps to get to where he's at or steps to get to you know, higher than what you are? Or if you want to get into entertainment or get into fashion, has Kanye West ever sat down and told people step by step how you get involved in the fashion? Black people? No. The only time Kanye West speaks to black people is when he wants to disrespect them or trigger them. The only time he speaks to black people is when he wants to get them on his side and gaslight them. That's the only time Kanye West speaks to black people. So by him telling you, the Jews run Hollywood, no kidding, Kanye. No kidding. You didn't need Kanye West to tell you that. I've been telling y'all that. Just ask me who runs Hollywood. You didn't need Kanye West to tell you that they run Hollywood and they run fashion and they run sports, entertainment. You ain't got entertainment, sports. Hollywood, music, you don't have to need, need Kanye West to tell you that. I've been telling you that. <laughs> I could have told you that. And he was telling you that in 2013. But y'all didn't care then, so why you care now? Oh, it fits the narrative. It fits the narrative now. Most of you didn't even know that he made those comments in 2013, did you? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was nine years ago. You probably wasn't paying attention because Obama was in office and he was dating Kim Kardashian. So you don't care then. Kanye West has reportedly reportedly disrespected the black race with no apology. He just recently said, I'm sorry if I offended anybody with my George Floyd comments. Comments in which he compared himself to George Floyd. Remember that? Now I know what it's like to have a knee on my neck. Now that I'm no longer a billionaire is what he meant. And you compare that to George Floyd, who physically had a knee on his neck until it drained the life out of his body, until it took his last breath. Kanye, that's what you comparing not being a billionaire anymore to? And y'all say we should support him. Y'all say we should support him. Let me ask you a question. Kanye West is worth $600 million even without everything else. What is supporting Kanye West going to do for the average person working at Target, working in customer service and, and a, for a bank? for a collection agency, for um, a telemarketer, for a nurse. What's that going to do for, for you? 
What is that going to do for you? Is that going to get you a raise? All the Jewish people that control the hospital is going to say, oh, he exposed us. It's only going to help one person, Kanye West. And that's all he's ever tried to help was himself. Was himself. So if black people do not support Kanye West, I have no problem with it whatsoever. Whatsoever. And for the ones who do support Kanye West, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. However, let me remind you of something else. Let's not forget. It's the same brother who said your ancestors, they could not, they didn't have to be slaves. The same ones that said Harriet Tugman didn't do nothing. What did she do? She didn't free nobody. Remember that. It's the same one of black women that he said, yeah, I got a type. And it's someone who looks like him. So all this caping you're doing for Kanye West, when he has a chance, he's no longer with Kim. When he has a chance to go get up under a strong black woman, what does he do? He ain't checking for y'all. So why are you checking for him? Yeah. <laughs>